Welcome back, you lovely bunch. Thanks for tuning in again. Hope you're all doing good. Right, it's been no secret that I, well, I've been banging on and moaning about this for quite a while. I'm not as fit as I used to be, right? And I want to get fitter. And I'm sure many of you have thought the same, like you'd like to be faster on the bike, you want to get quicker. Not really sure how. Do you invest in a coach? Do you get a training plan? Like there's so many options out there that it is a little bit overwhelming sometimes. And honestly, all I want to do is just go out on my bike, ride it lots, and get stronger, get faster, and have fun. And not take it all too seriously, but I still wanna get faster. Do I need to invest in a coach? Do I need to stick to a training plan? Do I need to do all that stuff? Do you need to do all that stuff? Like, does training have to be so much work? If you wanna get faster, you are gonna have to work. But I think sometimes we overcomplicate stuff. But anyway, that's what we're gonna chat about today. It's a very slippy and muddy start to the day. The bike's already filthy. I've only ridden like 10 minutes and I'm not sure if I'm even gonna be able to ride up after this stuff. So we're gonna chat about training and I'm gonna give you a few tips that I'm gonna put into use myself, how you can save money and get faster on the bike, a very easy, fun way. Right, let's go. I told I wouldn't make it. It's like so muddy and slippy, I can barely ride up this. I mean, barely ride, I've just had to hike all the way up there. So I figured before I tackle the next bit, which is actually a hiker bike, we'd have a little bit of a chat. We'd have a little bit of a chat. Firstly, I'm gonna try and break this down, right? I mean, my videos never have structure, so I'm gonna try and add some structure to it. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is coaching. Do you need a coach? Can you coach yourself? I don't think most people need a coach. I think a lot of cyclists have no need for a coach at all, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't have one if you want one. If you're competing at a high level, or you're regularly competing, having a coach could really help you like identify targets and work towards achieving those goals. But for most of us that just want to go and do the occasional race, want to do like long rides and want to get faster, I don't think we need a coach. I think you can coach yourself quite easily. You know, there's a lot of information online about FTP tests, like training plans, like specific training plans for specific events or types of race. Like there's so much stuff on there. I get that getting a coach means you don't have to do all that legwork. Like I think everyone could benefit from having a coach. I just don't think everyone needs one. So there we go, so there's coaching out the way. And then the next one is like, so how do you get fast really easily, you know? And this is what the main body of this video is gonna be about, right? Like, I don't think it has to be massively complicated to get faster on a bike. In fact, it's quite simple, right? You ride your bike a lot, and when you go out and ride, you make sure you put in some hard efforts that's gonna elevate your heart rate, and it's gonna get you tired, and it's gonna make you really work out. If you did a 20 minute hard ride, three days a week, for example, every week, like you'd get faster. Just by riding your bike, you do get stronger, you do get faster, you do get fitter. But if you just go out and you're plodding around and you're just enjoying those chill miles, you're not gonna notice a massive increase. You'll notice an increase in your fitness, but not necessarily that speed. And for most of us, you wanna have that speed, you wanna get fast. So how do you get fast really easily without a coach and without a massive intense training plan? Well, it's really simple. Every time you go out on a ride, whenever you get to a hill or a certain Strava segment that you like, you pin it, you pin it as fast as you can. You go really fast, really hard, go really deep. And then when you're done on that hill, you chill out, you relax, you enjoy your ride, you look at the scenery. This is something I never do actually on rides. I never look at the scenery. Like whenever I'm doing a training ride and a hard ride, all I do is I look at my like cycle computer that tells me what I'm doing next, how long I'm doing it for, and I just kind of ignore the whole world, which actually is a bit sad sometimes, you know, because like it's quite nice, isn't it, outside? That's why we get out on the bike, to go outside. It seems ironic that I get out on the bike to go outside and then spend it looking at a screen or talking to a little screen like I am now. But anyway, God, this is a long-winded way of saying, basically, if you go out and you put in some effort when you're riding your bike and you're consistent with it, that will make you fast. If you do the same commute every day, like pick a segment that you're going to try and ride really hard for and do that every time you do that segment. You know, just keep doing it. That's how I'm gonna get fast. I was thinking about doing an FTP and jumping on like a big like training plan. But the thing is, I have the luxury of riding all day. Quite simply, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna ride for one, two, three hours. I'm gonna put some efforts in, in those rides. And I'm just gonna keep on doing that. And just simply by doing a massive amount of riding, I'm gonna get faster. I mean, not everyone has the time that I have to ride but you don't need loads of time. Like these rides could be like 30 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour. Anyway, I'm standing in the middle of the woods waffling about like riding, but not actually riding. So 
I'm going to run up that hill then pin it down some other hill and probably slide off. But um, you guys are coming too and we'll continue this in a little bit. I'm always saying that I love this bike, and I do, I love this bike. But for the subjects we're talking about today, well actually it's not the bike, it's the terrain. If you do want to get faster on the bike, and do it in a fun way, I'm going to have to say that riding off-road is not necessarily the best thing for that. It's so inconsistent. If you've got long, flat, nice gravel trails, awesome, perfect, you know. You can like pick a segment, do an effort down it, absolutely fine. This, however, I can't put power up consistently. There's all like rocks, boulders, it's really slippy. I'm spending my whole time concentrating so I don't crash rather than having a bit of a fun effort-y pedal. But actually, thinking about it and contradicting myself, is that not the very point of this video? Like, is that not what makes this ride fun? The effort doesn't have to be on this bit. I could, in fact, ride down there and there's a bit of a climb and I'll do the effort up there. See? So I'm an idiot, I'm not even listening to my own advice. Everything that I just said, ignore it. You can ride off-road, you can ride on any terrain. You just might not be able to do your efforts on very slippy, deep, rocky, muddy, gravelly stuff. It's a very long way of getting to my tip, you know? If you're going to do efforts, do it somewhere where you can at least put out a consistent effort, you know? If it's like oh, very undulating, slippy, and like very technical like this, it's not the best place. What a load of waffle! Right, <laughs> let's carry on. Well, I guess now it's time for that effort. Right. I just thought of another really good way to get fast on a bike. Ride with people, local cycle club, friends. Like, when you ride with other people, you get pushed a bit harder. Well, this is what I find anyway. So riding with people, there we go. I'm gonna add that one in somewhere. <laughs> I feel I've pretty much covered the entirety of like training now and how to get fast on a bike. I mean, essentially what I'm saying is ride a lot and when you go out, make sure you just ride hard every now and then. Or not every now and then, you need to ride hard consistently and you need to ride consistently. But like I say, most of us don't really need to do like crazy training plans and all that stuff. You can just enjoy yourself and race your mates, try and beat a PB on a segment. As long as you're consistent, you'll notice an improvement. I've done a few efforts today and I feel pooped. Oh, and make sure you definitely have a rest day. Like, rest days are so important. Like, rest days are as important as getting out on the bike. There we go. What an insightful and in-depth video to make you strong. Urgh. And, uh, yeah, hopefully. And let me know your tips down below. Do you think I'm right or am I wrong? Or am I just talking absolute crap? Oh, yeah, and you guys, thank you very much for being nice to Willow. Really appreciate that. But it's my bloody channel. You can't, you can't tell me my videos are boring when she's not in them, you know? Arseholes. Hope you guys found this interesting. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you as always for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye.